shit's really hit the fan. Still dreaming. And you seem to forget that it's human beings whose lives we're trying to save. Save human lives by trying to save. My turn for the yes. coast. I tried to explain this to you several times. The guys in the crew are going crazy. A couple of them have flown the coop already. How long have we been standing here? We just got a report that half those stations have been knocked out. Get me another list. Sure, I'll just pull it out of my ass, right? I don't believe that, Doctor, and I don't believe you believe the dead are returning to life. I'm not so you believe the dead are returning to life and attacking the living. I'm not so sure what to believe, Doctor. All we get is what you people tell us. And it's hard enough to believe it's without... It's fact. It's fact. It's hard enough to believe without you coming in here and telling us that we have to forget all human dignity. Human dignity? You forget can't. all human dignity. You're not running a talk show here, Mr. Berman. You can forget pitching an audience the moral bullshit they want to hear. You're talking about abandoning every human... Freddie, get the new list of rescue stations. Charlie's receiving on the emergency. Rescue stations. Half of those are inoperative as of now. Charlie, these are rescue stations. We can't send people to inoperative rescue stations. I've had old information on the air for the last 12 hours. I'm doing what I can. These are definite as of now. <laughs> Gibbons, and one stop. Kill him, Dick. Tell Gibbons to see me. Public figures like self that this situation is being dealt with by the public at large. Quiet now. Let him make his point. You have not listened. You have not listened to this situation for three weeks. What does it take? What does it take to make people see? People aren't willing to accept your solutions, Doctor, and I, for one, don't blame them. Every dead body that is not exterminated becomes one of them. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. Dad! Get someone to type that up. As I think Foster's right, we're losing. Yeah, but not to the enemy. We're blowing it ourselves. must be exterminated, either by destroying the brain or severing the brain from the rest of the body. This situation must be controlled before it's too late. They are multiplying too rapidly. What's going on? Who killed those supers? No one has any authority to do that. Nobody has the authority to do that. Garrett, who told you to kill those supers? Nobody, I killed them. They're out of stage. You know you're on the air. I want those supers on the air all the time. Without those rescue situations on screen, every minute people won't watch us. They'll tune out. Are you willing to murder people by sending them out to stations that have closed down? I want that list up on the screen every minute that we're on the air. He doesn't even know he's on the air. Anybody need a ride? What the hell are you doing? Get back on this console. What is this? You know a football game. Get that idiot off the air. Yeah. Huh? Stop those men. Lucas, get back here on the console. Damn. Get somebody in here to run this thing. Get that fucking idiot off the air. Get somebody here to run this thing. Come on, triple pay. We're staying on the air. Why is the mic off? Turn it off. All right, Dr. Foster, we want some facts. The public needs facts. What do you have to give us? Well, there are several things we know for sure. You ask why they kill. And they kill for one reason. They kill for food. They eat. They're victims. You understand that, Mr. Berman? That's what keeps them going. If we'd listened, if we dealt with this phenomenon properly, without emotion, without emotion, it wouldn't have come to this. Quiet down. There is a martial law state in effect in Philadelphia, as in all other major cities in the country. Hold them for your badge. Need a badge. 
It's just crazy. It's completely insane. Hey, Donald, you know this guy on the floor on gold? You must understand the dire dire consequences. Yeah, okay, go. Phenomenon. Should we be unable to check the spread because of the emotional attitudes of the citizenry toward these issues of morality? Get him up there! You do it yourself. I'm not doing it anymore. Jim, you take it. It is the order of the OEP by command of the federal government, the President of the United States, that citizens may no longer occupy private residences, no matter how safely protected or well stocked. Citizens will be moved into central areas of the city. The bodies of the dead will be delivered over to specially equipped squads of the National Guard for organized disposition. Meet me on the roof at 9 o'clock. Get out. I don't believe We're it. We're going to get out in the chopper. David, we can't. We've got... It's 9 p.m. all right. Stephen, we can't. We've got to... We've sit. got to nothing, Fran. We've got to survive. Somebody's got to survive. Now, you be upstairs at 9 o'clock, and don't make me come looking for you. Go ahead. We'll be off the air by midnight anyway. The emergency networks are taking over. Our responsibility is finished. Martini! You've been watching. You know we've got this building surrounded. The little bastard's got them moved into one building. The dumb little bastard. Looks like they're really gonna try to fight us. Grab it. Come on. Martinez. People in this project are your responsibility. We don't want any of them hurt, and neither do you. I'm giving you three minutes, Martinez. I'm giving you three minutes, Martinez. Turn over your weapons and surrender. There's no charges against you. There, there are, are no, no charges, charges against you or any of your people. Yes. Come on, Martinez. Yeah, come on, Martinez. Show your greasy little Puerto Rican ass so I can blow it right off. Blow all their asses off, low-life bastards. Blow all their low-life little Puerto Rican and nigger asses right off. The rod, right? Yeah, rod, Tucker. You're gonna be all right. Huh? Oh, okay. How the hell come we stick these low-life bastards in these big-ass fancy hotels anyway? Shit, man, this is better than I got. Hey. Hey, you ain't gonna talk them out of here. You gotta blow them out. Blow their asses. Just stay cool, okay? When you go in there, don't pop off, all right? I'll be okay. Come on, let's get on with it. This is a waste of my time. Let's go, let's go! Move in! Move in! Come on, you dumb bastards. Come and get them. This will try to the thousand feet!
shit, man. by yourself, boy. You was in Willie's unit, wasn't you? I didn't see that. I didn't see how he died. I don't mean because of Wooly. I mean because of all this. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Man, there's a lot of people who are running out. I could run. I could run right tonight.
friend of mine. He's got this helicopter. He does traffic reports for G.O.N. and he's running out with it. He asked me to come with him. Think it's right to run? <laughs> Senores, please to let me pass. Let's get into the medics. No, no, please. Just let me pass. I go up to seventh floor to find my sister. Just let me pass. The people of 107 will do what you wish now. These are simple people. They have little, but they do not give it up easily. And they're dead. They give up to no one. Annie have died last week on these trees in the basement of this building to find them. I have given them the last rites now. You do what you will. You are stronger than us. Well, soon, I think. They'll be stronger than you. Let me then walk, senores. We must stop the killing, or we lose the walk. Jesus Christ! Hey, you okay down there? Yeah. This must be where they dumped him in, huh? You need more men? No, it's all done, man. It's all been done. Jesus Christ. Why do these people keep them here? Because they still believe there's respect in dying. Come on, I need you. I don't 
Don't see Roger. We'll give him ten minutes. Still? No. Just wait right here. Just hold it there till it spits out at you. This is police dock. Operator dead. Post abandoned. Repeat. Operator dead. Post abandoned. Uh, I guess that's the police dock. Identify yourself, please. Steven! I hope that's Roger. What are you doing? I'll be right there. Just stay cool. Hello. Come on, Skipper. They got friends coming. Who are you? We're with GON. About a minute and a half on the car. Now, wait a minute. We're just here to refuel. Those men were already dead. Now, you were here, you know that. GON traffic watch. Steve Andrews. That's me. I'm Steve Andrews. Yeah, no shit. We got a lot further in this bird, Skipper. Can't all fit! How many will that thing hold? Hey, man, I ain't going nowhere. Nothing I can't drive myself. That's true! Something happens to him and we'd be stuck. We'd be stuck. Stick with the boat. We got a lot further in this bird! Hey, that's a squad car. It's okay. We're police. Bullshit, man! Let's get to the boat! You're running, Andrews, ain't you? You and your friends are running in the G.O.N. traffic. Uh, what's the problem, officer? We caught your friends here stealing company gasoline. What do you mean, friends? They know, Raj. They're running, too. Now, uh, it'd be crazy to start shooting at one another, wouldn't it? Sure would. His name's Peter. He's all right. Come on, let's hustle. Hey, you guys! You better get a move on. There's a report out the dock's been knocked out. Right. The left squad. Can we carry the extra? A little harder on the fuel, but we'll be okay. Hey, you got any cigarettes? Any of you guys got cigarettes? No, I'm sorry. Where you headed? Down river. We got an idea. Maybe we can make it to the island. What island? Any island. What about you? Where are you headed? Straight up.
his real brothers? You know, real brothers or street brothers? Both. How many real ones? Two. Two. One's in jail. The other's a pro ball player. But we catch up to each other every once in a while. See you, man? <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah. Just like to know who everybody is. Yeah, me too. Exactly where we are. Harrisburg? Passed about an hour ago. And we're pretty low on fuel. Just waiting for full light so we can see what we're landing in. Jesus. It's everywhere. We're still pretty close to Johnstown. Those rednecks are probably enjoying the whole thing. country like this. I guess they all hit the pumps and they took off. Yeah, where? Where the hell are they going? Where the hell are we going? Got some here. Can you handle that? Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna see what's left in the hangars.
bunch of junk. Never aim a gun at anyone, mister. Peter, my God, what are you doing? It's scary, isn't it? Isn't it? Find fuel. Maybe closer to Cleveland. You no, know, we gotta stay out of the big cities. If there's anything like Philly, we may never get out alive. We may never get out of any place alive. We almost didn't get out of here. We're getting out of here fine, Peter. Just as long as there's not too many of those things around, we can handle them easy. It wasn't one of those things that nearly blew me away. We gotta stay in the sticks. I mean, there's bound to be more little private airports upstate. There's the locks along the Allegheny. Fuel stations there. State, private. No, those are probably still men. We don't need those hassles either. We're just out after scavengers and looters. Oh, you got papers for this limousine? I got G-O-N-I-D, so does Fran. Right, and we're out doing traffic reports. Wake up, sucker. We're thieves and we're bad guys. That's exactly what we are. 
we got to find our own way. Jesus Christ, we don't even know where we're going. We don't have food, we don't have water, we don't even have a radio. Stephen, you need to get some sleep. shopping center, one of those big indoor malls. God. No chance. Forget it. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. They can't get up here. Yeah, and we can't go down there. Let's check it out. Sit down. I don't think they can get into the stores. I haven't seen any of them up on the second floor. The big apartments, though, usually use both floors. If we can get in up top. Okay. Guess the power's not off in this area. Could be nuclear. What are they doing? Why do they come here? Some kind of instinct, memory, what they used to do. This is an important place in their lives. Hey, look at this. They couldn't go down to the mall. What the hell is this? Hey, over here. Civil defense. Civil defense water supply. How do we get down there? like a free lunch. Dad. Did you bring a can opener? No, I guess I didn't. Then don't knock it. It's got its own key. Amazing. What do you think? This is the only way up here. What do you think? Sleep too, buddy. There's an awful lot of stuff down there that we could use. 
I know it. It's a big place. But they're pretty spread out down there. I think we can outrun them. Hit and run? Hit and run. You're crazy. This place could be a gold mine. We've got to at least check it out. This is exactly what we're trying to get away from. Look what... Stephen! Leave him be. We're going ourselves. That's ready to shoot. Be careful. The trigger squeeze is real easy, but the weapon will kick you good when it fires. Be ready for that. Anyone but us comes up some stairs, you guys take off the machine. You probably hear some shooting. Just don't panic, okay? to the kingdom. Grab the walkie-talkies. Christmas time down there, buddy. That city, brother. How are we gonna work it? We get into one of the department stores up here. They probably have their own escalators inside. Let's check those keys. 15 upper and lower. Right here. How about a little music? What? Might cover the noise we make. Hit them all. Might as well have power and everything. We might need it. I get a try for it. Okay. I need lighter for it. You got it. Jesus Christ. They're <laughs> maniacs.
down there. carry all that shit. Oh, I see. We're just gonna wheel right by him. We're gonna try, brother. We ain't doing this for the exercise, so we might as well try to get what we can. No way this is gonna happen. <laughs> Stay out of sight. Let me know when it's clear enough. Come to Papa. That's it. Keep coming. Keep coming. together, but they're spread out pretty good. I think we can move the wagon. I'm coming. What's that? I don't know. Buzz, maybe? Or maybe fly, boy. Where's it coming from? I don't know. I can't tell.
Come on, open up. Maybe I ought to go with you. Open up. I can get the wagon over. If it's fly, boy, let's get him on our side. Okay. Just come up and do it. Here. Let him know we're here. Woo! Come on, let's go over here. <laughs> you did all right this time, fly boy. How about it? <laughs> Woo! Save shoppers in our weekend sales of poppin. time getting back. We just gotta wait longer before we move. No, there's always a chance of some of them staying up on the balcony. We can handle that. We can break through them. If any of them see us or hear us, they'll just follow us on up. It's no good. 
We sure in hell can outrun them. We can load up what we got and get the hell out of here. I've been thinking. Maybe we got a good thing going here. Maybe we shouldn't be in such a hurry to leave. Oh, man. If we can get back up there without them catching on, we can hold up for a while. At least long enough to catch a breath. Check out the radio. See what's happening. Oh, man. There's some kind of passageway over the tops of these stores. I don't know if it's just heating ducts or some kind of access. I saw it on a map. Upstairs. Let's go. These are just lighting fixtures. No, it's got to be in this area. It's on the map. Elevator shaft. the doors. It's here. Give me a screwdriver and something to stand on for down there. Uh, I know where the tools are. Why don't you grab that stool over there? <laughs> Get it off. You found it, Playboy. <laughs> Want to stop shopping? Anything you need, right at your fingertips. Phillips. Here you go. Stephen? seen it. Come on. Man, I sure hope you know where you're going, buddy. This is it. Come on.
Better be okay. You should see all the great stuff we got, Franny. All kinds of stuff. Well, this place is terrific. It really is. It's, it's perfect. All kinds of things. We really got it made here, Franny. Franny? What the hell time is it, anyway? Not quite nine. Nothing? Well, as long as we're getting a pattern, that must mean they're sending a signal. occupancy in private residences, no matter how safe or well protected they may be. The president today has sent to Congress a package of initiatives aimed at what sources call a more sweeping set of measures. We have information now on those early reports I gave to you that communications with Detroit have been knocked out along with Atlanta, Boston, and certain sections of Philadelphia. Billy. And New York well, I know Gio ends out by now. Again. That place is a madhouse back there. With Detroit, Atlanta, <laughs> People are crazy. Are they just organized? I can't believe they let it get this bad. I can't believe they couldn't handle it. Look at us. Look what we were able to do today. <laughs> Knock the shit out of them. They never even touched us. Not really. They touched us good, Flyboy. We're lucky to get out with our asses. You don't forget that. You underestimate those suckers and you get eaten. They got one big advantage over us. They don't think. And that bunch out there, that's just a handful. And every day there's gonna be more. But those things can be stopped so easily. If, if people would just listen, do what has to be done. How about it, Flyboy? Let's say the lady gets killed. You be able to chop off her head? The Southern Hotel and Hotel Association of America today is sweeping success. Is she all right? She looks blown. What do you expect? No, I mean she really we looks sick. Confirmation now on Physically. Those early reports I gave pregnant. To you that communications with Detroit have been knocked out along with Atlanta, Boston, well, how far along? And Three and a half, four months. Jesus. And New York City. Steve, maybe we should try to get moving. We can deal with it. Yeah, but maybe she needs a doctor or something. Atlanta, we can deal with it. Boston, it doesn't change a thing. Sections of Philadelphia and you want to get rid of it? Have reportedly been huh? knocked out. Do you want to avoid it? It's not too late, and I know how. In other reports now coming into our, our new studio. Hey. Okay. Somebody better sit watch all the time. They'll never get through there. Enough of them will. And it ain't just them things we got to worry about. That chopper up there could give us away if somebody comes messing around. What are they gonna do? Land another pilot to fly it out? They're not gonna mess with a little bird like that. They got enough on their hands. Yeah. So I guess we forget about Canada, right? <sighs> Nobody cares about my vote. Fran, I thought you were sleeping. It's a demon, I'm afraid. You're hypnotized by this place, all of you. It's so bright and neatly wrapped, you don't see that it's a prison, too. Stephen, let's just take what we need and keep going. 
Do you know how many times we would have to land for fuel on our way up north? Those things out there are everywhere. The authorities would give us just as hard a time, maybe worse. Damn it, friend. We've got everything we need right here. Let's get some sleep. However, scientists fear that the creatures function on a subconscious instinctive level. And that such drugs You were the one that wanted to set up a house. In Nevada, chemicals sprayed from drug busting airplanes have had more of an ill effect on the human population. The normal question, the first question, is always. Are these cannibals? No, they are not cannibals. Cannibalism, in the true sense of the word, implies an interspecies activity. These creatures cannot be considered human. They prey on humans. They do not prey on each other. That's the difference. They attack and they feed only on warm human flesh. Intelligence, seemingly little or no reasoning power, but basic skills remain are more remembered behaviors from uh, normal life. There are reports of these creatures using tools, but even these actions are the most primitive. The use of external articles as bludgeons and so forth. I might point out to you that even animals will adopt the basic use of tools in this manner. These creatures are nothing but pure motorized instinct. Their only drive is for food, the food that sustains them. We must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotions. They, they must be destroyed on sight. That was Dr. Millard Rausch from the uh, OEP and uh, Later on, uh, hopefully today, we're not exactly sure yet. I'm waiting for word on this from some people. Uh, we expect to get him here for a live show, an actual live interview, so we can discuss things with him. The semis are big enough to block the entrances. You sure we can start them? You haven't spent enough time on the street. Let's get it up. Not too many of our dear friends around yet this morning. This is from the uh, disease control scientists, you know, down in Atlanta. And uh, this report says they're working on an analysis of this whole phenomenon uh, from the point of view of a viral disease. They're doing various laboratory tests to see if they can deal with it in that way and perhaps come up with some kind of a workable vaccine. The problem, according to this report, the problem they've run into in Atlanta is that there are no live specimens available. Uh, it seems in that area there aren't any. We've had a film report shot in Atlanta, but uh, it has not arrived yet. Contact has been kind of... I would have made you all coffee and breakfast, but I don't have my pots and pans. Also, uh... Wait a minute, uh, there's another report here. May I say something? Sure. So in areas of the north and west... Sorry you found out I'm pregnant, because I don't want to be treated any differently than you treat each other. Oh, hey, Frank, come on. And I'm not going to be dead mother for you guys. And I want to know what's going on, and I want to have something to say about the plans. There's four of us, okay? Jesus, friend. Fair enough. Okay, now what's going on? We're going out, and you're not coming with us. And you won't come with us until you learn how to handle yourself. That means learn to shoot and learn to fight. Something else. I don't know about you two, but I want to learn how to fly that helicopter. Now, we if don't know if happens some of those stations we have to be able to fly out of here. She's right, man. Come on, let's go. And I don't want you to leave me without a gun again. Shh. 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 Shh.
break rates, and it's uh, become difficult at times to stay on the air, but we're making every attempt to do that. But I would like to you just might be able to figure out how to use it. Relying on us as your only sort of communication lifeline. I'm sorry, Stephen. It's all right. It's all right. Stephen. Yeah. We will continue to broadcast all kinds of various information that we believe yeah, will be helpful right. to at least keep some of the chaos under control. Bowling for dollars at six. In spite of everything, as you can hear, there are still some people with a sense of humor.
Roger. We got him, didn't we? Yeah. We got this, man. We got this by the ass. Roger! Come on, man. Get your head together. We got a lot of work to do. Let's go, baby. Number two. You all right? Perfect, baby. Perfect. Screw your head on. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. I mean it, man. Now, you're not just playing with your life. You're playing with mine. Now, are you straight? Yeah.
That's it. Oh, shit. We gotta deal with that leg. Man, I'm dealing with it, man. I'm just dealing with it. Don't you worry about it. I won't be able to walk on it at all. Oh, wait. Can you walk on it now? Can you walk on it now? Damn right I can. Damn right. <clears throat> man, there's a lot to get done before you can afford to lose me. <sighs> It all depends on how many of them are still inside. That's one hell of a run we gotta make. If we had more flares, or maybe some of those propane jobs. Guns are first. It's guns and ammunition. You sure you're gonna make it? Just hurry up with that. Try to shoot through those gates. Openings are too small. A bullet will wind up chasing us around in here. Don't worry, they can't get through. Ain't it a crime? What? The only person who could ever miss with this gun would be the sucker with the bread to buy it. out there, sissies. We're coming, and we're ready. Getting by these right here. It's a long haul down to the entrance. We'll be all right. It's too far. There's no backing out now. We've got to lock those main doors. We'll never make all four entrances. It's too risky. We'll make it. 
You'd just be ready to open up for us. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The car. What? One of the cars. Why don't you use one of the cars over there? You okay to start it? Okay, let's go. I think they'll get through. Can't they smash the glass? Safety stuff. Pretty indestructible. They got no leverage under the truck. I'm hoping they'll just go away after they find they can't get in. I'll get the alarm. Get in the car.
put up a wall here. This way we can still get to the plumbing. Why don't we just board up the stairway? Sooner or later, there might be a patrol through here. Looters, maybe. I don't want anybody to even know that stairway exists. The ductwork runs all the way into the washrooms. We'll have to get in and out that way. We'll bring up any more big stuff we want before we put up the wall. Seems to be sleeping. Good. I don't know what else to do. You're doing fine. His leg is awful. The infection's spreading quickly. Can't we do something? Can't we take him to a med unit? I've seen half a dozen guys get bitten by those things. None of them lasted more than three days. Peter, where are you? Right here, trooper. We did it, didn't we? We whipped them, didn't we? That's right, Rod. Didn't we? Didn't we whip them? We sure did, buddy. We whipped them. We whipped them good. We whipped them and we got it all! It's all right. It's my problem. Just get out of here. I don't want you here. Look, I just don't want you to see me like this, okay? Mm, Stephen, get out, please. This is gonna be rotten. We gotta clean it up, brother.
You never know. Money, money, money. After us. They know we're still in here. They're after the place. They don't know why. They just remember. Remember that they want to be in here. What the hell are they? They're us, that's all. There's no more room in hell. What? This is something my granddaddy used to tell us. You know Makumbo? Voodoo. Granddad was a priest in Trinidad. He used to tell us, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth.
Go on. I'll stay with it. Take care of me, won't you, Peter? You take care of me when I go. Just try to get some sleep, man. Save your strength. I... I, I don't want to be walking around like that. Peter. Peter! Yes, I'm here, man. To be sure, I am coming back. I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try not to come back. I'm going to try. Excuse me. Listen, the kind of thing with that, you that are... small amount, the body is usually intact enough to be mobile when it revives. Point hey, point they point use maybe five percent of the food available in the human body. What are you saying? I mean, you know, you scientists. Dummies. You're suggesting dummies. Hey, listen. Dummies. Excuse me. Listen, quiet, quiet. Shh. One wonders whether it's worth saving. It's worth saving. For all I know, the brains are already dead, and it's the idiots that are still alive. Huh? And I figured out how to stay alive, too. And I'm trying to help you, dummies. In your calm, helping way, you do irritate people by the illogical way. Illogical way. Illogical hell. Illogical hell. I'm showing you a way that we can up the food supply 20 times. Right. The food supply for who? For a whole specimen that is walking around there in increasing numbers. We, we should feed them? What else are you going to do with them? Give me an alternative. I thought you scientists could come up with an actual way to solve the problem rather than feeding the opposition. Doesn't make any sense. Well, I can think of one other alternative. I can think of another alternative. Yes. Since they seem to congregate in heavily populated areas, and since we haven't touched upon our nuclear resources, why don't we drop bombs in all the big cities? You're probably oh, serious. I'm deadly serious. What are the choices? They won't run out of food, young lady. That's the problem, you see. And they won't run out of food while we're still alive. If they did, who cares what happens after we're all dead? If ever a decision needed to be made, it's now. Kind of things out. You know, the things that you're talking about here sound like just a bunch of people talking. This is not political rhetoric. We're not fighting. This is not the Republicans versus the Democrats. They've got us in the hole economically, or we're in another war. It's more crucial than that. We are down to the line, folks. We are down to the line. There are no divisions among among living Please. society. At least we, let him we've finish. Gotta be made let us know. Whatever. It's really all over, isn't it? Quiet. Unemotional. Quiet. We've got to remain rational. Logical. Logical. Yeah. Scientists Logical. always think in those kind of terms. It doesn't work that way. That's not logical. how people really are. We've got to remain logical. We've got to. There's no choice. It has to be that. It's that or the end.
Julia. Oh, it's beautiful. Peter, what about you? Where are you going? This is just for the two of you. Enjoy. Got a surprise for you. Here's one. Come on, pick a hand. We can't, Stephen. Not now. It wouldn't be real. the roll, we'll drop it off at the drugstore.
Attention all shoppers. If you have a sweet tooth, we have a special treat for you. If your purchases in the next half hour amount to $5 or more, we'll give you a bag of hard candies free. To the kitties or enjoy yourself. been a broadcast for three days. Why don't you give it up? They might come back on. Trucks blocking all the entrances. Look at that. Yeah, trucks. The sweat. Oh, what do you think? We get them now or tonight? Tonight. <laughs> to the call? Yeah, did you ever see this before? It's weird. Up there. Yeah, we yeah. 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 I know we're here. Maybe we should. No chance. Oh, oh, come on, you boys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you want to try? Oh, it's a radio. All right, ten. 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 Hey, ten. Okay, listen. Uh, how many you got up there anyway? Uh, look, there's uh, there's three of us. <laughs> well, if there's only three of them. Who says? What? I think we should Jesus Christ, shut up and listen. Hey, hey, you and the ball, listen. We don't like people that don't you share. You just fucked up real bad. Come on, let's go. Let's go. 
in. They'll move the trucks. There's hundreds of those creatures down there. Come on, man. That's a professional army. Looks like they've been surviving on the road all through this thing. Well, let's not make it easy for them. Come on. What's happening? There are 15 or 20 of them. We're going to shut the gates. Steven. We're just going to shut the gates. They'll never know we're here. Too much to worry about. Fucking thing slides open. Hey, forget that mouse hole. The whole damn side swings open. Shoot the lock. Let's go blow the goddamn lock. Hey, mouse has got the machine gun. Let him move. Watch out, Watch out, dude. Boy, they opened the loading docks. Listen, with those bay doors open, there's gonna be a thousand zombies in here. That'll take the heat off us. These guys are gonna have their hands full.
fights, just let them fight it out. Get up on the balcony and stay out of sight. I'll meet you at the information booth. Now let's go. God damn it, Flyboy, what the hell are you doing?
They don't care about us. Got a war. Say goodbye, Creed.
son of a bitch. Come on, man, let's get the hell out of here. Climb up top. I'll get you out of the grid in the shaft. I'm coming. He's all right. We'll just wait. We'll just wait a while and see. It's almost 
flight. Let's go. He hasn't answered the radio for hours. For God's sake!
much fuel do we have? Not much. All right. 